Keeney Lake Elementary was built in 1949. Its location was up for discuss with debate whether it should be located east or west of the Gap. Lincoln School, built in 1908, was closed after the Canyon Lake construction was complete. Canyon Lake was the first post-war school school constructed in, in Rapid City. Pressure was intense to get the school opened to relieve the overcrowded school system. Even with pressure to get to get open on time for school to start, Canyon Lake students lost the first two weeks of school because of the delay. Teachers and students were required to attend Saturday morning classes for six weeks in, in order to catch up. My name is Carla Bume, and when I was at Canyon Lake, I was Carla Van Gorkum. Um, I went there in elementary school, of course, and and um, I have a lot of connections to Canyon Lake Elementary. I, I went there as a student. I um, student taught there in fifth grade, and then I taught kindergarten there. And actually, our son Caleb even went to school there at Canyon Lake. And um, I have to add to this that in fifth grade, I had a teacher, Mrs. Sisson was her name, and she was a very big influence in my decision to become a teacher. So um, she's no longer around, but I thank her very much for that. Um, some of my memories, I remember always walking home for lunch because we didn't have hot lunch back then. And so we had an hour break, so I would walk home for lunch on 3rd Avenue and uh, come back to art and PE and music and just love coming back in the afternoons. Um, and speaking of PE, things were a lot different back then. We used to jump on trampolines and um, we always had to try to climb the rope to the ceiling, which I don't know how tall it was, but it was a high ceiling. And uh, with just a mat underneath us, which I could never get to the top, but a lot of kids could. But things were just a lot different back then. But it was... Um, it was a great time at Canyon Lake. I enjoyed it thoroughly, and, and I will miss Canyon Lake, that's for sure. I'm Dave Crosswhite. I went to Canyon Lake uh, from 1960 to 66, from kindergarten up through sixth grade. A couple of fond memories I have is we used to, there was a little grocery store on the way and, and home that we'd stop by. It was called the ABC Food Store. It's not there anymore. But uh, all the kids would stop in there and grab treats. She had every kind of candy you'd think of. Another thing I enjoyed was uh, we'd have, they had tether balls out on the playground that they don't have anymore. But certain people would be selected for the te tether ball duty. So they had to be there early. And so I got, you know, I, you wouldn't think that I, I would like that, but I got there early because there was a young gal that got there early too. So I was hanging up the tether balls and got to talk to her for a minute. And then they had swings there that were fun, but the swings were a lot taller swings, so we got to swing a lot high. So it was back back in those days, it was more for fun rather than for safety. Okay, that's probably good. My name is Sequoia Crosswhite, and I'm currently the Lakota language and culture teacher here at Canyon Lake Elementary. And to offer my video quote here for the 100th anniversary video, Knowing the history of our state and our city and our community, and specifically the Canyon Lake property, it's an honor to say that I'm one of the first Lakota language and culture teachers here to be incorporated with the Lakota Immersion Program that started back in 2021. And by incorporating the Lakota Immersion Program and the language on this campus and within our curriculum and our agenda, it only shows that us as a community, as a whole in Rapid City, is that we are learning to grow and to heal with each other. And I feel by keeping this alive and keeping the culture and language incorporated with the curriculum only shows that we are have a bright future coming ahead of us. Thank you. Canyon Lake Elementary opened on the city's west side in September 1949. A short item in the newspaper noted that it would turn out and be an ongoing trend. With the first day registration complete at Canyon Lake Elementary, nearly 300 more students in lower grades are enrolled this fall than in 1948. A crowded school has remained a theme in the school's 74th year existence, with additions being built in 1953 and 20 years later, coming the first of four annexes on Canyon Lake campus. 
During the 1950s school year, Canyon Lake students were among the first to enroll in the Rapid City Bicycle Safety Club. Um, started with the endorsement of Governor George T. Mickelson and Chief Police New Lou Norbe. This club aimed to make more than 2,000 riders in Rapid City bike safety conscious. Enrollment in the club came with a reflector sign and a club member card to show their commitment to being safe on their bikes. Hi, Holly Hoffman here, the current principal at the Canyon Lake campus. You can see that our school has a really storied history all the way from 1949 until now with some amazing things that have happened on our campus. Our campus is a very unique campus that's been through a lot. Our next transition will be at the end of this school year when um, Canyon Lake is no longer an elementary school as part of RCAS. All of us who are currently a part of it, who have been a part of it, are just really grateful that we were able to be here and experience um, the amazingness of the people and the location of Canyon Lake. Good, bad, or best, never let it rest. Go.